Appears to me the next lowest is number 10. Let's go to number 10. This is uh, 54.49. So 54%. A function is graphed on the coordinate grid as shown. What are the domain and range? All right, how would y'all do this one? Trash compactor, yeah. You flatten it out and see the value. So for domain, envision it getting cra crushed, crushed to the x-axis for domain. So if you envision it getting crushed this way, you're basically looking at the graph after you crush it saying, are there any graphs to the left and to the right? So if you crushed everything down like that, that's the idea. You flattened it all out. Uh, will this graph continue left forever? Yes. Will it continue right forever? So now you just want to know, are there any gaps to the left and the right? Uh, let me turn on the, my camera just for a moment. Where is it? There it is. Let's see if it'll even turn on. There it goes. You're looking, are there any spaces this way now? Now that we know that it goes left forever and right forever, are there any gaps horizontally? Okay. So uh, taking a look here, it goes left forever, goes right forever. Is this a gap? to the left and to the right. I know it is up and down, but what about to the left and the right? Is there any space in between there? No, it would fill in. So this would be all reals. If you flattened everything out, this part of the graph would be flattened here. Whoops. This part of the graph would be flattened this way. The next part of the graph, this parabola would be flattened like this. And this last part of the graph, when it gets flattened, it would fill it in. And so there's no graphs. So that right there eliminates B and A, because that's saying there's two breaks. So those two are out. So it comes down to either C or D. So now for the range, when you trash compactor this or flatten it out, you are flattening to the y-axis for range. So envision this idea happening. You're flattening everything to the y-axis. When we flatten that way, does the graph go down forever? No. No, it does not go down forever. It does go up forever. So I can actually eliminate D because this says it goes down forever. That one's out. The answer has to be C. The brackets on the negative six, if you're wondering, when you smash this in, there's just one point. And that's why it is closed because not only is this closed, but it's infinitely many points flattened in. So that would be brackets around it. 